What's up guys? Today we are in the studio and we're packing up our bags and we are flying to LA to get my minimal bag customized at their shop. My boy Sam, the CEO, will be picking us up and we're gonna spend the day in LA hanging out and making my bag look sick. So let's get into it. So excited. We just landed in LA, it took about an hour, not too bad of a flight. Um, I'm gonna go look for our bags. Hopefully my golf bag wasn't lost in the flight. I'd freak out if it did. Um, and then we're gonna go find Sam. I waited for my bag for like 10 minutes and I couldn't find it. And I checked everywhere. And so as I walked over here to the gate area where like for extra luggage or whatever, and this is what I found. My bag is just sitting here. So I don't know why. So anyways, now we got our bags, let's go find Sam. So now we're in Sam's car and we're gonna be checking out the studio, the club, and we gotta get out of the airport first. So here we go. How do you come up with customization? Ah, uh, customization is actually a really cool story. So, you know, our bag, it doesn't have any zippers. It's all magnets. And I knew really early on that we wanted to be able to offer customization because that's like a, a huge selling point of the bag is that it doesn't have a huge branded logo all the way down across your back. You know, it's really, we want it to be unique and we want the customer to feel like it's their bag. They're not out there promoting for somebody else. But because we don't have the zipper, the pockets that you can just pull off and get embroidered, it was, yeah, it was a really big challenge. And then one day, uh, this guy's walking by my old studio in Manhattan Beach, that, that one in El Porto, and uh, he, he has like flyers. He's like, hey, you wanna get a sign painted? And I was like, actually, yeah, we had no signage or anything. So I gave him the, the logo, he mocked it up. Two days later, he's over there painting it. Looks great, still there. Um, and then we, when he finished painting, I was like, huh, you think you can paint directly on a golf bag? And he was like, I can try. So I gave him some material from our old bag, like our very first sample bag, uh, had some material, I gave it to him. And I was like, all right, uh, do my logo, my Sam Wilkin Golf logo, and then the Adele logo, because we were gonna try to do a collab with Adele. He came back, my logo looked amazing, the Adele logo looked even better. Which, it's a hard logo. Yeah, it's all like cursive, right? And it was white paint on a black bag. Um, yeah, and so he brought it back. I was like, these are amazing. We're done. You want a job? And he was like, okay. So now he's, yeah, he's, at this point, I mean, it's, it's crazy. About 25% of our orders have customization. And I think it's been growing. And it's because more and more people are finding out that we actually are. Yeah, once they see it, they're like, oh, I want that. Yeah. Not yeah. like, I always want the, you know, 
plain bag. So what are you thinking, like logo wise, placement wise? Do you know what you what you want to do? Well, like what have you done before? So um, actually, seen... yeah. Let's see. We've got uh, actually the custom page is a good. Oh wow. So yeah, I mean we can do like like something like this is crazy, right? Like ten different colors and uh, multiple hours. We also can do something like really simple and clean, uh, which I think, you know, you've got a couple different logo options. Were you thinking your your ball logo or were you thinking like the GA logo or? Probably, well, I emailed you the GA logo because I thought it'd be like. Uh, right, let me see if I can find that. Because it's clean and easy, not too crazy. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's, I think that'll be be awesome and just these two colors right the ga yeah and black and orange maybe and then like yeah. like on the ball pocket uh, i think that's perfect yeah we did it like right here yeah the ga right there yeah that'd be sick cool man let's do it let's, right, do, let's that. do it hey what's up man what's up? okay here she is you guys this is scratchy he's the artist he does all these cool bag designs here and he's gonna take care of us today and get our bag customized so I'm really excited to have you start so thank you welcome You want to see your bag? I want to see my bag. I am super stoked. All right, come on back here. I think it's on the rack. Yeah. We got a bunch of bags going out. Um, I'm excited. We're getting ready to paint this one. This one's going to look so sick. I can't oh, wait. Cool. Uh, but yeah, dude, here's your bag. Ready to rock. Oh my God, that's so rad. Sick. That is so awesome. Oh, can I set it up for you? Please. All right, we're gonna put, oh, this is a caddy trick. Uh, we did a video on this for, for our customers who buy the bag, but any stand bag that has like a little bit smaller top and bottom, you always wanna put the clubs in when it's standing up because as you, when you put the, the stand, engage the stand, it closes off the bottom section of the bag. So it, it literally takes away like half the storage in the bottom of the bag. So as you're putting clubs in and taking them out, it's a really good idea to do it um with the bag standing up especially if you have mid-sized grips or, or jumbo grips because you're you know those grips take up more space than just like a standard grip but uh yeah we'll put the wedges in the front you're all set man look at that i cannot wait to play that bag uh -huh, you're ready to rock bro. it's been the best trip i'm so glad i came out here and like got to do this with you guys yeah, man. I'm glad it worked out. And I love it. I love the bag. I love the style. The detail works amazing. It's cool, too, because when you slap one of your towels on there, I, like, your towels are perfect for the bag because... Well, I say this a lot because the bag is so clean and simple. When you throw, like, a bright head cover or a cool towel on it, the towel will pop and stand out, so... Yeah, the bag doesn't, like, consume it. Right, yeah. If you've got a bag that's, like, red, blue, black, gray, a bunch of different pockets, zippers everywhere, you put a towel on it, it just gets lost in there. But uh, on this bag, when you lay a towel on there, it just like pops, so. Awesome. Cool, man. You're you, set, you're ready to rock. You guys have to come out here and check this out. Get your bags painted by Scratchy and or send them on in or order a bag or whatever you have to do because you will not be disappointed.